Hello friends, it's time to gather around with your family and friends as we center on God for the next few moments. This is the fourth week of Advent and today we light the candle of peace. Will you repeat after me? Our hearts are filled with peace as we wait for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus. During Advent, we have been focusing on Jesus as the reason why we celebrate Christmas. On Christmas Day, we will light the Christ candle. The Bible tells us many stories about wonders and signs that tell about the birth of Jesus. Many people heard and saw things that help them believe that Jesus was the Son of God. Let's read from the Bible. Today we're reading from Luke chapter 1 verses 35 through 38. Let's listen. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. She, who was said to be unable to have a child, is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word be fulfilled to me. Then the angel left her. The angel told Mary that she would give birth to God's son. Mary believed that God would do what God said he would do. This Christmas, do you believe that Jesus is the son of God? Jesus has come to the world to give us peace and joy. Friends, that's good news. Will you pray with me? God, thank you for the gift of Jesus. Help us share the good news of peace and joy with others around us. Will you pray the Lord's Prayer with me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Merry Christmas, friends. Remember that Jesus is the reason we celebrate Christmas. Thanks for joining me.